Do you want to build the full website without coding? Forget this, you don't need it. With Bricks Builder, you can build fast, instantly, no code, just results. The best part? You will do it from scratch, step by step. By the end of this video, your site will be live, ready. Why Bricks Builder? It's simple, it's fast, it's lightweight and gives you full control. No bloated code, no slow loading, just a clean, powerful builder. And today I will show you how to build yours, step by step. Let's get started. Number 1. Why Bricks Builder is a game changer. Most page builders slow down your site. What about Bricks? It's built for speed. No bloat, no lag, no headaches. Bricks Builder is lightweight, fast and gives you total design freedom. And the best part, it's a full site builder, not just a page builder. From headers to footers, you control everything without touching code. Dynamic data build in no extra plugins this isn't just another page builder it's just the future of wordpress so let's set this up and build from scratch number two getting started install and set up in minutes you first log into your bricks account you download the latest version of bricks got it Great! In your WordPress dashboard, head over to Appearance and then Themes. Click to add a new theme and choose the Bricks zip file you just downloaded. And click to install now. Once installed, activate the theme by entering your Bricks license. And boom! Bricks Builder is now active and ready to go. And that's it! You are all set to build stunning websites without a single line of code. Let's dive in. As a quick tip, it's best practice to delete the default WordPress themes that come pre-installed and so they take up space and can be a security risk. I've got short videos show exactly how to do it. So check it out for a quick walkthrough. Number three, launching Bricks Builder, your first steps. All right, Bricks is installed and now let's launch it and start building. So first head over to pages, add a new, close this up, let's call it home or wherever you want and now this is where the magic happens click edit with bricks boom welcome to bricks builder this is your new web design playground everything here is built for speed flexibility and total control before we dive in let's check out the container system the secret to smooth layouts and stick with me, we are about to build your first section. And next up, let's break down the Bricks interface so you can start designing like a pro. Number four, mastering the interface. What do you need to know? In Bricks Builder, effective page layout is achieved using these four elements, a section, a container, a block, or a div and each serves a distinct role in structuring content. The section acts as the outermost building block, spanning 100% of the available width. It's ideal for dividing your page into distinct topics or sections. The container is centered with a default width of 1,100 pixels, modifiable in theme styles. It's designed to hold and organize content within sections. If you drag a block to the container, you will see a block utilizes a default width of 100%, make it suitable for creating columns or rows within a section or container. The div is a plain unstyled element that grows or shrinks based on its content, offering maximum flexibility for custom layouts. For beginners, it's best to stick with a section, a container, and a block, as they come with presets that simplify layout design. And so by understanding these elements, you can create structure, responsive and visual building web pages in Bricks Builder. Let's now go over the Bricks Builder interface. 
the main design area where you drag, resize and arrange elements visually. The toolbar is located at the top. It gives quick access to saving, previewing, settings and responsive controls. The elements panel is your toolbox on the left is filled with text, image, buttons and other building blocks. And finally, the structure view at your right hand side. It's a hierarchical outline of your page. Make it easy to navigate and edit nested elements. Number five, optimizing Bricks fonts. Disable Google fonts for speed and privacy. Bricks already comes packed with the best fonts, but did you know you can make your site even faster by disabling Google fonts? Why disable Google fonts? That's a good question. By default, Bricks loads fonts from Google servers, and this means extra external requests, which can slow down your site and even cause privacy concerns, especially for GDPR compliance. But you can fix this in one click. Go to Bricks, Settings, then under Performance, scroll down and enable Disable Google Fonts. And this forces Bricks to only use locally hosted fonts instead of fetching them online. Hit Save, refresh your site and that's it. Your fonts now load faster and more securely. Using templates, build faster, smarter. Why? build from scratch when you can use templates and save time. Let's speed up your workflow. Bricks lets you save and reuse layouts with the templates feature. To access, you go to Bricks, Templates. Here, you can create, save and manage templates for headers, footers, sections and full pages. For instance, let's create a new header. You give it a name header then from the right sidebar you select the template type publish edit with bricks inside bricks builder you will assign the template settings conditions add a condition and to be applied on the entire website now we create it from scratch right so Add a section inside the container, click the plus icon to add a new block. Add two blocks from the container settings under the style. Let's set the width to this width for the block with a light background. Why not? Under the container, let's set this to horizontal. Okay, much better for the block. Let's add an image. Select the image element, select the image, could be this, could be this one, cool, and the padding of 20 pixels. And now for the, for the right block, select it, search here for nav menu, make your own adjustments, and then align to the cross axis, and we are done. And do you want to start fast? Bricks includes pre-made templates. Just click templates in the editor and then we can pick one and insert it. For example, you can search here for the template type you want to use or you can search here for the community templates and then click on the insert button to insert right away on your Rix editor. You can also save your own templates and let's say Let's insert a template with a header. Let's click to insert in order to reuse it anywhere. So you just select the template and then you do a right click and you save it as a template. You give it a name, it's stored. And so next time you just need to insert in one simple click and no need to rebuild it. Supercharge your content with dynamic data. Static websites are boring, but with dynamic data, Bricks lets you automate content and make your site smarter. Let's break it down fast. Dynamic data automatically pulls content from your database. 
So instead of manually updating pages, Bricks does it for you. It's great for blog posts, author names and post dates. Works with custom fields and ACF, Advanced Custom Fields plugin. And perfect for dynamic headers, product pages and more. How to use dynamic data in Bricks? That's a good question. Let's say I have this page called Tutorial and I want my page title to update automatically instead of typing it manually. So I have a structure, a section, a container, then I have a heading element. Just click the lightning bolt icon, post title from the dynamic options. And now every time I create a new page, it updates instantly. Another fantastic example is for a blog post layout and we'll be using dynamic data for blog posts. So we'll go to Bricks templates. You had a new template, let's say single and from the right sidebar, you select the template type, publish, edit with Bricks. And next up, it's always good practice to Bricks settings to define the template settings. So the conditions had to add the condition to show on an individual post. And then I type my individual single post. I know this is my web design post. And then under populate content, it's always good practice to, sh to tell single blog post and then Web design post to populate the content. Apply. Let's do the Bricks Builder, do the magic for you. And then we will create section, a container. Click on the plus icon to add a block element. And what you can do with dynamic data, this is a game changer because instead of manually adding the author name, the post date and the feature image, we will do this dynamically. So after the block, let's insert now a heading, then select the dynamic data icon, select the post title, delete this, you don't need it, there you go. Then we could add, for example, the metadata in a matter of click. You got my name, the date and the number of comments, and then we will add a feature image. So search for image, specify the, the image, dynamic data, and then find out the future image. There you have it. And so as you can see, is everything is just pulled dynamically from WordPress. No extra effort needed. And lastly, we could have the post content. This is from WordPress and there you have it. And now if I open my web design post, you can see the design. Of course, this is not styled yet, but get idea, right? Bricks query loop for advanced features. Manually having posts or products. No way. Query loop automated for you. Let's break it down fast. Instead of manually having blog posts, products or listings, the query loop pulls content dynamically from WordPress. And this is great for blog posts, WooCommerce products, team members, portfolios and more. It updates automatically when new content is added. No extra work needed. To setting up a query loop in Bricks, let's create a dynamic blog grid using the query loop. You had a container inside the container last nested a div element and now click the div element and enable the query loop. Choose what to display and so set post types to posts and boom, WordPress auto fills the latest blog posts. And now let's style it. So let's add three elements, the post title, the post excerpt and the future image. And now let's style it however I want. Let's change this to a grid layout. So under display, set it to grid. And now let's put it one FR, one FR, one FR. 
which corresponds to one fraction of the available space. And if you want to change it, you would put here to a far. You need to filter posts in the query loops settings, set conditions like to show only posts from a specific category. And you can sort it by the newest, the oldest or the custom order. And you can also limit the number of posts displayed. Let's use the random. No coding needed, just tweak the settings. And now your site auto updates when new content is added, no manual work. Form submissions to manage and collect like a pro. A website without forms, no way. Let's set up Bricks Form Builder to capture leads, collect data and automate responses, fast. Before adding a form, best practice is to place it inside the container. And here's why. It keeps the form structure and aligned properly and makes styling easier for background, spacing and padding and ensures a better mobile responsiveness. So just add a container just like I did and then drop your form element inside it and this keeps everything clean and organized and bricks makes form building super simple just dragging the form element inside the form we have a text field for names the email field and the message which is a text area let's add a container width to a maximum um, 600 pixels and now let's make this form work to save to database and to start submissions inside wordpress you have to go to brick settings and then go to general and just enable this option to save form submissions in database. Just save the settings, refresh and let's go back now to the forms page in bricks. Under actions, it will send form data to your inbox for send email enter here your email address your subject and the message format just enable this html format which is fine and as a bonus if you want to redirect after submission and show the confirmation just enter the url of your thank you page i've prepared custom bricks Thank you, Paige. Go now to Actions and head here the option to redirect. And once you enable the redirection, you will have another option. And this is where you enter your custom redirect URL. So I pasted here my custom thank you page. And now your site captures lead automatically. That's my nine steps to a full Bricks website done. If you found this helpful, drop a comment, hit a like and subscribe for more.